Hi friends, it's Miss Debbie again. I have more stories today. We're going to read a couple of cow stories. Our first one is Cow in the Rain and this meets all our requirements to post this online. We're so thankful to our publishing house friends who have allowed us to do this. Cow in the Rain by Aaron Smith. Summer had just passed and fall came to the farm. The air grew cooler, the leaves changed colors, and the days became shorter and darker. Woo! By night, Cow looked forward to rest in her snug warm bed of hay in the barn. But outside, woo! Dog howled at the moon. This made Cow very upset. How could she sleep with dogs loud <laughs> howling like that? What was wrong with him anyway? Cow glared out the barn window. Dog seemed perfectly fine, loud, but fine. That made Cow angrier. Here he is, whoo! Maybe your dog does that too. Dog finally noticed Cow at the barn window looking out at him frowning. Dog was confused. Why didn't Cow say hello? Why didn't why did she look so unhappy? Dog stopped howling. Oh, muttered Cow. Maybe now that dog will go to sleep like the rest of us. Cow returned to her warm bed of straw. Minutes later, without warning, Dog began to ho even louder. The next morning, Cow complained to Pig. Oh, that crazy dog. Do you know what he did? He howled all night. I couldn't sleep a wink. Boy, that makes me angry. I wish that dog wasn't here on the farm. Meanwhile, a storm began to move across the plains toward the farm. By afternoon, the sky grew suddenly dark and the wind started blowing harder and harder. The sky began, the sky began pouring rain. Pig and the other animals started running toward the barn and dog ran into his house to hide. Soon, it was raining so hard that it was difficult to see very far. From way across the field, Cow began moving as quickly as she could toward the barn. The grass under Cow's feet was getting very soggy. Everything was getting very soggy. Cow knew she had to be careful or she might slip and fall. On the way to the barn though, that's just what she did. Cow fell right into Pig's mud hole, splat. The mud was so wet and soft and deep. Shlup. Cow was stuck. The rain poured down harder and faster and the mud became even softer until Cow started to sink. Oh no, help me Pig, Cow called out. Pig was used to being in the mud himself, but he had never seen a cow stuck in his mud hole before. Pig tried to grab Cow's hand, but he kept slipping. Sorry, Cow, there's nothing I can do. Our hands are too wet. Besides, you're too big and heavy. With that, Pig ran off to the safety of the barn. Next, Cow saw a horse. Help me, Cow yelled. I'm sinking in the mud. You're strong enough to pull me out. But Horse wasn't listening wasn't listening to Cow at all. Better get out of that mud, Cow, she neighed, running into the barn. Boy, Cow's friends just aren't being much help, are they? Cow was getting very scared now. Just then, Chicken ran past. Chicken, Cow yelled. Get help, please, I'm stuck. No time now, Cow. I've got to get out of this rain, screeched Chicken without stopping. Now I'm in big trouble, said Cow, sinking deeper into the mud. Won't anyone help? She shut her eyes, wishing the rain would go away. Suddenly, Cow heard a familiar voice. Grab on, it said. Who is it? Dog! Dog stood near the mud hole with a rope in his teeth. Grab on! 
Let's go, Dog growled from behind clenched teeth. Cal was never so glad to hear Dog's voice as right then. She grabbed the rope as Dog pulled with all his strength. Ooh, Cal was heavy. Squish, pop. Dog pulled Cal out of the mud enough that she could move on her own. She started crawling toward the barn. She was so tired and so wet and so muddy. Dog continued to pull Cal safely to the doorway of the barn. The dog ran, then Dog ran back through the rain to his house. Cal didn't even have a chance to say anything, even thanks. She went straight to her stall. She had been so scared and wet and muddy, muddy, but now she was safe in her bed. She listened to the rain hit the roof of the barn and quickly fell asleep. The next morning, Cal went to visit Dog. I don't know what to say, Cal said quietly. My friends wouldn't help me last night, but you came out of the safety of your own house to help me, even after all those bad things I said about you. What do you mean? asked Dog. Well, said Cal, yesterday I told Pig that I wished you weren't here on the farm. Then you were the only one who came to help me when I needed it. You should get some kind of an award. Nah, replied Dog. I don't need a reward for doing the right thing. I'm just glad everyone is safe. This reminded Cal of something she heard about God. She remembered that we should treat others the same way that we want to be treated. The Bible says to do that, Cal told Dog. Cal and Dog spent the rest of the day talking. As it turned out, they had a lot in common. Cal learned that Dog had been howling only because he sensed the storm was coming toward the farm. It was a natural thing for a dog to do. That night, all the other animals went to the barn at bedtime, but Cal and Dog kept talking softly in the moonlight. They would be friends forever, Cal decided, all because she remembered God's word. Now, on some fall nights, Cal and Dog sit under the moon and... The end of Cow in the Rain. Would you like to hear another cow story? All right. We have Cow Goes for a Ride. And again, we are reading this book with permission from the publishers. Cow Goes for a Ride by Aaron Smith. Wonder what trouble Cal's gonna get into this time. Cal loved walking around the farm, chatting with her friends about this and that. On one particular stroll, Cal saw her friends huddled at the far end of the barn. What were they talking about? Cal edged a little closer. But I've only ever seen farmer do that, said Chicken. Do what, asked Cal. Yes, but none of us has even tried it before, said Goat. Tried what? asked Cal. You're right, exclaimed Pig. One of us really should investigate. Investigate what? asked Cal. But who will do it? asked Chicken. Do what? asked Cal. Then worried she might miss out on something, Cal exclaimed, I'll do it. You will? asked Goat. Great, said Pig. Go ahead. Then maybe we'll all try it. Cal thought for a minute and then said, mm, what am I gonna do again? Why, climbing to the top of the big green tractor and sitting where farmer sits, of course, answered Goat. Oh my, I don't know if I can do that, said Cal. Farmer told us not to play with his machines. Ah, oh, come on, said Chicken, you'll be fine. Besides, you said you would do it. That's right, the others all cried. We all heard you say that you would. Oh, Cal knew she said that. She didn't know what she was talking about, but she had said it. Okay, Cal said, maybe it wouldn't hurt to climb on the big green tractor just once. 
And with that, she began to get on the tractor. It wasn't as difficult as she had imagined. She found good parts to hold on to and good places to stand. What do you think is going to happen? This is okay, Cal said. I think I'm going to make it. The other animals watched excitedly as she reached the top of the tractor and sat down where Farmer always sat. After a few seconds of silence, Cal exclaimed, Wow! Come on, everyone! Climb on the back! And all the other animals crawled onto the flatbed trailer hooked behind the tractor. Cow was having fun. She completely forgot the rule about not playing with any of the farm machines. Look at me, Cow mood. I'm farmer. Cow made noises like she was driving a tractor. What do you think a tractor sounds like? Yeah? She turned the steering wheel back and forth. She pushed all the buttons and she twisted all the knobs. That sounds like fun. Roar! Suddenly the tractor made an incredible noise and everyone froze. Uh-oh, Cal thought. Cal began to climb down, but as she turned sideways on the seat, she bumped another knob. Zoom! The tractor lurched forward. All of the animals on the flatbed fell over and Cal Cow fell back down into the seat. Hold on, hollered Pig. Cow grabbed the steering wheel to hold on. What do I do? She cried. Boom! Suddenly, the tractor crashed through some barrels and tools that Farmer had neatly stacked in the barn. Cow turned the wheel as fast as she could, and the tractor roared out of the barn and across the field. Crash! The tractor broke through the fence. Oh no, yelled Pig as the tractor zipped across the field. The tractor exploded through a big haystack and hay flew everywhere, landing all over Cow and her friends. What are you doing, shouted Horse. Stop this thing, shrieked Goat. I don't know how, Cow yelled as the tractor tore across the end of the field. Suddenly, Cow saw the pond. They were headed right for it. Cow twisted the steering wheel with all of her strength, but that tractor splashed into the edge of the pond. Foosh! Cow kept turning the wheel, and the tractor roared onto the edge of the field and kept roaring ahead. Zoom! Before anyone could think about what was happening, the tractor narrowly missed a tree. The branches that had been peacefully hanging down now were clunking each animal on the head on their way past. Bonk, 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 bonk. Now the tractor rolled down a small bank toward the river. Oh, how Cal wished she had obeyed the rules about the farmer's machines. Remember what the rule was? No playing on the farmer's machines. Splat! Suddenly the tractor stopped. The wheels were still turning, but the tractor wasn't going anywhere. What was happening? Cal and her friends wondered. They watched silently as the wheels soon stopped moving too and the tractor settled into the soft clay that lined the river. The tractor shut down and now there was only the sound of the trickling river water. Uh-oh, who do you see? Uh-oh, just as each animal was thinking, uh-oh, a familiar voice called, what in the world has happened? It was Farmer. He had seen the runaway tractor and chased after it. Cow looked at him with watery eyes. You silly animals could have been seriously hurt, Farmer said. You knew you weren't supposed to play with the farm equipment. And now look what's happened. If only we had followed the rules, Cow thought. She felt so sorry. She mooed. I know that there is a reason for rules, even when I don't understand them. God has given us some rules too, Farmer said. Those rules must be important to have come from God. Cow knew that Farmer only wanted what was best for her. She promised to try to obey the rules. She also remembered God's rules were meant to keep us safe.
As Cow and her friends started walking back to the barn and farmer got to the track and farmer got the tractor unstuck, Cow knew she would think about the rules before doing whatever her friends wanted. Then she thought there would not be a next time. Of course, there would be many more next times. But that's another story. The end. Now, I want to read. There's a message from Cal on the back of this book. It says, Dear friends, I just wanted to write a quick note to you and tell you that I hope you enjoy this Cal story, Cal Goes for a Ride, from the Cal Adventure series. It's a great story about the time I went for a ride on a runaway tractor. Through my whole adventure, I learned the very important lessons that God made rules that he wants us to obey. Don't forget that God created you special and that he is taking care of you even when you make mistakes. Your friend, Cal. Does God still love us when we make mistakes? He sure does. God's love never ends. He will love us no matter what. Now, it's still good for us to tell God when we're sorry when we mess up. And, and God wants us to tell on ourselves like that. But he will always love us. Let's thank God for his great big love for us. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you that you will love us all the time, no matter what, no matter where, no matter when. Your love never ends. Please help us to want to follow the rules that you have given us to follow, to love each other, to love our brothers and sisters and obey our mommies and daddies. We know that those are special rules that you gave us to keep us safe. We love you too, Jesus. Amen. Until next time. Bye.